The Rikhat structure, also known as the Eye of the Sahara and Gilbert Rikhat, is a prominent circular feature in the Sahara Desert near Aden, west of Euro central Mauritania. This structure is a deeply eroded, slightly elliptical, 40 km in diameter dome. The sedimentary rock exposed in the stone ranges in age from late Proterozoic within the center of the dome to Ordovician sandstone around its edges. The sedimentary rocks comprising this structure dip outward at 10 a degree a euro 20 a degree. Differential erosion of resistant layers of quartzite has created high relief circular Q esters. Its center consists of a siliceous brixia covering an area that is at least 3 a km in diameter. Exposed within the interior of the Rickhart structure are a variety of intrusive and extrusive igneous rocks. They include rhyolitic volcanic rocks, gabbros, carbonatites and kimberlites. The rhyolitic rocks consist of lava flows and hydrothermally altered tophaceous rocks that are part of two distinct eruptive centers, which are interpreted to be the eroded remains of two Mars. According to field mapping and aeromagnetic data, the Gabroic rocks form two concentric ring dikes. The inner ring dike is about 20 am in width and lies about 3 km from the center of Rickhart structure. The outer ring dike is about 50 am in width and lies about 7 to 8 km from the center of this structure. 32 carbonatite dikes and sills have been mapped within the Rickhart structure. The dikes are generally about 300 am long and typically 1 to 4 am wide. They consist of massive carbonates that are mostly devoid of vesicles. The carbonatite rocks have been dated as having cooled between 94 to 104 million years ago. A kimberlitic plug and several sills have been found within the northern part of the Rickhart structure. The kimberlite plug has been dated being about 99 million years old. These intrusive igneous rocks are interpreted as indicating the presence of a large alkaline igneous intrusion that currently underlies the Rickhart structure and created it by uplifting the overlying rock. Spectacular hydrothermal features are a part of the Rickhart structure. They include the extensive hydrothermal alteration of rhyolites and gabbros and central megabrexia created by hydrothermal dissolution and collapse. The siliceous megabrexia is at least 40 am thick in its center to only a few meters thick along its edges. The brexia consists of fragments of white to dark gray shitty material, quartz rich sandstone, diagenetic shitty nodules, and stromatolitic limestone and is intensively silicified. The hydrothermal alteration, which created this brexia, has been dated to have occurred about 98.2 or plus or minus 2.6 a million years ago using the 40A slash 39A method. Initially interpreted as an asteroid impact structure because of its high degree of circularity, it is now argued to be a highly symmetrical and deeply eroded geologic dome. Despite extensive field and laboratory studies, geologists have found a lack of any credible evidence for shock metamorphism or any type of deformation indicative of a hypervelocity extraterrestrial impact. While coesite, an indicator of shock metamorphism, had initially been reported as being present in rock samples collected from the Rickhart structure, further analysis of rock samples concluded that barite had been misidentified as coesite. In addition, the Rickhart structure lacks the annular depression that characterizes large extraterrestrial impact structures of this size. Also, it is quite different from large extraterrestrial impact structures in that the sedimentary strata comprising this structure is remarkably intact and orderly, and lacking in overturned, steeply dipping strata or disoriented blocks. A more recent multianalytical study on the Rickhart megabrexias concluded that carbonates within the silica-rich megabrexias were created by low-temperature hydrothermal waters, and that the structure requires special protection and further investigation of its origin. References External links, Anonymous Rickhart Structure, Mauritania NASA Earth Observatory, Anonymous Earth a Euro Unregistered Trademark S. Bullseye, The Eye of Africa, Landmark for Astronauts. Love these pics, Nemirov, R., and J. Bonnell Earth's Rickhart Structure, Astronomy Picture of the Day, October 28, 2002. Astronomy Picture of the Day, Michigan Technological University, Horton, Michigan. Da Copyright Couvert, L.A. Copyright Nick de Rickhart, a video documentary from Radio Canada.